Folks, the only link below is going to be a link to our video on HARP, our true feelings on HARP up until today, that we believed it as a scientific tool it was dangerous, but that we didn't believe it was being used as a weapon. Folks, I believe this earthquake was caused by an induction of energy into our system and it didn't come from the sun. I want to start by saying I'm sorry because there are a lot of you who are watching this video who have asked me about whether uh, something like HARP, not necessarily HARP, but one another one around the world, uh, could be used like an earthquake machine and we have pretty much dismissed it even though we, <laughs> in the video that's linked below, we tell you it's very, very possible. All you need to do is know what thunder feels like or the loud bass of a car to know what waves can do to matter. And I always knew that it was suspicious in China and Russia when those earthquakes occurred during the currency negotiations. It's suspicious when the earthquakes are happening near the Strait of Hormuz now. It was suspicious when they happened in Libya and Egypt uh, during the uprisings there. Let's get on to this induction of energy. First, what happens when there's a large uh, induction of energy into our protective layers? It all gets captured along the magnetic field lines and then bunches up together as it is injected into the earth. Um, this can often amplify uh, the wave uh, via something called georesonance. Well, look right here at 12 o'clock UTC. We had an influx in the total uh, electron content. We got really juiced up, and that's during the nighttime for this meter. Um, we see temporal variation in our induction magnetometer. Come over here to the uh, interplanetary magnetic field, uh, and it's definitely choppier than normal. Uh, we see a strong um, disturbance in the horizontal layer of our uh, outermost magnetic field, again, on the night side. Uh, and the ionosphere absorbed a huge amount of energy. That's the ionospheric absorption. Again, not when the sun is facing it, in the dead of night. So where did this come from? Well, of course, first thing we got to do is look at the sun just in case. Now, pay no attention to this gap. Uh, they told us they were going to be doing maintenance that hour a few days ago. But look right there at 12. What in the world caused this induction of energy? Absolutely nothing doing on the solar wind whatsoever. Come over here to the GOES and you know it wasn't any cosmic rays. This is about as low as the GOES can be. No no flares whatsoever. And just to be sure, no, no, no extra protons, no extra electrons. And these are measuring what's coming from the sun. So nothing extra hit us at that point. We just happened to have a strong disturbance in our magnetosphere. Uh, we got juiced up, and uh, we saw a lot of electromagnetic energy being absorbed. So where did it come from? We get juiced up at 12, and we stay juiced up until it assumably gets injected just before 1800. So where did it come from? We're far from making any conclusions, but I will officially state that this merits further investigation. Be safe, everyone.